Best thing about that 1999 holiday, in case you're asking, and a lot of you will remember this, it's a big deal, we went to see an eclipse. The 99 eclipse was, it was a, if you don't remember, it's a solar eclipse, obviously. <laughs> mm, I'm not here wasting your time with a lunar eclipse story, am I? <laughs> well, you think you're watching a punk? <laughs> solar eclipse is the best one. That's where it's the sun and the moon goes in front of it, which is the way round I want it, by the way. You put, you put the best one up front. The moon is much better than the sun. I don't care who I'm offending with that. It just does more stuff. It's more versatile. Orbits the Earth, controls periods. Fair play. <laughs> controls periods, man, and tides. It's a weird choice, isn't it? Those two. <laughs> I'll take periods and tides, please. <laughs> of course you will, moon. You're a jack of all trades. Why not? Have bus timetables while you're at it. Same wheelhouse. Look, there's a woman on a yacht. That's all your jurisdiction, Moon. You get involved. There's a whole hen night and a boogie boarding trip. Wreak havoc. Get them all in sync together and then get a tidal wave going if you feel like it. I'm not telling you how to do your job. OK, you're the Moon, not me. Jesus Christ. Get them all in sync together. That's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. If women live in the same house, the pyramids get in sync. Sorry, am I the only one not jaded in this godforsaken city? That's, that's mind blowing to me. Look, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure it's even true. I'll never, I'll never know if it's true or not. Some women have told me it's true, others women have told me it's absolutely not true. But I hope it's true. It's magical if it's true. Are you kidding me? I've never felt in sync with anyone that I've lived with. But if you've got periods, you, know, you, you might be hanging out in your living room one day, you know, just, just doing your thing, just hanging out. Okay, one or two fellas in the room don't appear to recognise a menstrual cycle when they see one. But we'll, I'll power on through that. Fellas always letting the room down. And maybe another person will walk in the room and maybe they're a bit more like that, you know? <laughs> and the first person's like, oh, hello. You're the new housemate, right? You've just moved in today, is that correct? Oh, yeah, those are my boxes by the stairs there. They're not in your way, are they? Oh, no, that's absolutely fine. Just notice you've got some DVDs knocking around in there. What are you working your way through? Oh, I'm currently watching The Sopranos. <laughs> Late to the party there, aren't I? <laughs> no, that's absolutely fine. I've just started watching The Sopranos myself, coincidence. Episode 9, season 1 at the minute. Oh, I'm episode 4, season 1. I'll tell you what, I can wait for you if you like. I'll pause it, you can catch up. Watch it together. How's that sound? That'd be amazing, I'd love that. <laughs> Let's do it together. Ah, oh, nice to make a friend on day one. <laughs> That's how. That's how 1999 felt. <laughs> All year. Everyone connected. Everyone in sync. I mean, I was 14, remember that. It's, the world just seemed more innocent and stuff, you know? Everyone was reading the second Harry Potter book in 99. That's all that had come out. It's all that existed. <laughs> Two, but now it's a big franchise and there's books and films and you can buy the, uh, buy the costumes and... Back then, people were still calling her Hermione and stuff. <laughs> different. I really like this Hermione character, how about you? It's more naive time. 